This is Gordon Ramsay, very likely the most famous chef. Just looking into his eyes can strike fear into any cook's heart due to his extremely high standard of food quality that he makes very clear every chance he gets. Donkey, fuck off! Yes, chef. I am shitting myself. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! You lobster! That is one angry man. But I was curious what Gordon eats in his regular life. Away from the Michelin star fancy fine dining dishes, what does the man eat for sustaining that fit Scottish body of his? That is one fit man. <laughs> Luckily for us, Gordon has been pretty open about what he eats over the years. In a now famous Reddit Ask Me Anything, he shared his very regular ass breakfast. Apparently he sticks to a classic, oatmeal, or as he would say, porridge, mate. He said, quote, I keep it simple because it reminds me of my mom. Which is very sweet, Gordon, I respect that. The way he makes it nowadays is apparently with banana and almond milk, and also cranberries, which I completely forgot to buy. But to add that tangy sweetness, I decided to add some strawberry jam, which actually worked really well. So apparently for breakfast, Gordon keeps it old school and humble. Your freshest oat porridge for serving. is a classic. I respect him for it. The banana gives it a very nice creaminess, gives you energy, because Gordon is a very active man. Gordon cares about having an active lifestyle. The man works out. That guy working out. So I decided to hop on a bike and pretend that I'm exercising a little bit on a trip to the grocery store. This is an electric bike, however, and it requires very little effort on my part. Gordon says he doesn't really do a big lunch or any super big main meals on a usual day because he tastes a lot of food in his restaurant. He said he eats small portions of food multiple times a day. So I made a very healthy yogurt smoothie that I would imagine Gordon would enjoy as a small, convenient and nutritious food. You want this smoothie? I'll drink that fucking smother. Drink this smoothie. Tell me what you like about Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay invented this smoothie. Yeah, he... He invented smoothies. This one particularly, I like it. It's, I like it because it's creamy. <laughs> Look, I get that Gordon likes to keep it healthy, but I'm very interested in exploring what he eats for comfort. What really satisfies him on a deeper level? Well, in the same Reddit AMA, he expressed his love for In-N-Out Burgers, an American West Coast classic. And I get it, Gordon, I had that thing once and I've been having dreams about it ever since. But let's be real, Shake Shack is better. So I decided to make my own In-N-Out because here in Europe, they don't have it. I really wanted to nail that special sauce they have with the caramelized onions and I did a pretty good job with that. What I like most about In-N-Out was the simplicity. The ingredients were basic and fresh and everything was well executed. The tomatoes were salted, the buns were toasted of course, the onions were grilled, the burger patties smashed to a crispy perfection. Oh and they do this thing where they grill the burgers in mustard and I had to do that especially because I found this strong English mustard in my grocery store and uh, I just had to use it, come on. And then everything is put together in an elegant way to form the perfect bite every time you bite it which is a philosophy that i very much did not stick to with this burger i'll be honest this was uh, not a good execution on on my part this is a little bit too juicy <laughs> what is this dripping burger nice soup you made bro <laughs> <clears throat> that strong english mustard is is quite added quite a zing to this burger it's full of taste this mustard Unequivocally pleasant. Gordon Ramsay would tear me to shreds. But you know what Gordon Ramsay wouldn't tear to shreds? Today's sponsor, Hexclad. A lot of people ask me what pan they should get when starting out in the kitchen. And the truth is, it kind of depends. Do you want the performance of a stainless steel pan? The durability of cast iron? Or the convenience of non-stick? Well, you no longer have to pick. Because today's sponsor, Hexclad, combines all of those things into one all-around pan. Hexclad is the pan of choice of the one and only Mr. Gordon Ramsay. He uses it in his restaurants and also his home. And there's a good reason for it. 
it. It's pretty much everything that you can ask for in a pan. It somehow has the ability to beautifully sear meat, while also being non-stick enough that you can comfortably cook eggs in it. You can use metal utensils on it, no problem. It's super easy to clean, you can put it in a dishwasher, you can even put it in the oven for up to 500 degrees. Plus that hexagonal pattern, it looks pretty cool. When you buy this pan, you're buying a product that will last you your whole life. It is so durable, they offer you a lifetime warranty. I was personally very impressed with these pans, so I teamed up with Hexclad to offer you 10% of your first order. Just go to hexclad.com slash quok, that's K-W-O-O-W-K, my channel name, or just go to the link in the description, that's 10% off, guys. Thank you so much, Hexclad, for sponsoring this video. Maybe I can redeem myself by making one of Gordon's favorite treats, Christina Tossi's Milk Bar Cookies. Christina's a world-renowned pastry chef that makes unusually creative desserts. Her compost cookie is one of those creations, and I will try to replicate it with my almost zero knowledge of baking. So when Gordon expressed his love towards these cookies, he did it in kind of a weird way. He said they are his guilty pleasure. And then he said, quote, I sort of torture myself in a way. Like, right, I've just eaten two cookies. I feel like a fat bastard. Tomorrow's training session is going from two hours to four hours. And I just want to say, Gordon, you're allowed to eat cookies. There isn't anything to feel guilty about. Even if they do have three million calories or whatever these cookies have, you don't have to earn them through exercise or anything. Sometimes you want to eat a cookie because it makes you happy, right? Well, at least that's what I think about it. But yeah, having said that, this cookie is pretty crazy. It has chocolate chips, potato chips, and also pretzels. And a graham cracker crumble thing, which feels like just a lot of random shit. But that combination of textures and the sweet and salty balance sounds delightful. No, sadly, I have to refrigerate these for an hour, which sucks, because I want to eat them now. What a beautiful cookie. I like when they're uneven. I'll eat this piece of dough. It's made or it's dough? It's dough. Please, cookies, come out good. A few minutes later. What did I do? It's not how they're supposed to look like. I made a cookie platter. Oh my God, let's get it out. Oh my God, no. No, Gordon Ramsay's gonna hate me. What the fuck is this? What happened? Show you better than this. How the fuck did I make this shit? I'm so sad. Let's taste it though. Oh, it's wonderful though. It has an excellent chew. Quite some exquisite chewiness on this cookie. The chewiness is fucking oh, yeah. exquisite. The chewiness is out of this world. The potato crisp in there makes absolutely no fucking difference. <laughs> and it tastes pre pretty good. Tastes bloody good. What wants you? Once you go past the appearance, absolutely disastrous on the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Following that disaster, I wanted to see what Gordon eats on a regular weekday dinner with his family. He probably can't be bothered to make a ridiculously complicated dish, and as I suspected, he keeps it casual with some very basic spaghetti. And as any good pasta dish, in my opinion, this one has only a few basic ingredients. Starts off with shallots, garlic, and chilies and some olive oil, followed by a good can of tuna. That's right, Gordon is not too fancy for good old canned food. He completes the pasta with preserved lemon, which I don't have, so I just use regular lemon, parsley, and capers for a briny finish. And obviously this is a massive portion, because I assume Gordon... But me, I just got this guy. <laughs> when I go to Vapiano, mm. I always order the tuna pasta. It's similar to this. It's not similar at all. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like a hearty, simple home dinner. It's a little dry though. I think my execution is a little dry. Just like British humor. Mm. I have, have nothing else to say other than good things about this <laughs> fucking <laughs> powder dry. <laughs> it's like you fucking boiled this pasta in rocks or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little dry. I like it. This tuna came out the ocean and never saw moisture again. <laughs> Today I didn't, I've kind of fucked up it's on all that fronts. Bad. The smoothie was good, this is good. I fucked up with the burger. Whatever you did to that <laughs> it's pasta. 
<laughs> well, Gordon, hit me up. DM me. We can be friends. I'll be your friend. Gordon sometime. Ramsay doesn't want shit to do with you, my guy. He wants me to be his friend. You don't yeah. fucking know anything about that guy. He likes beef wellington and shit. Beef wellington? You beef wellington? You have never made a fucking proper beef wellington, my guy. Next time I will make a beef wellington. Knowing you, you'll make a beef soup. Beef wellington with black pudding. Black pudding? What on earth makes it fucking black? It's blood. It's bloody oh, blood. Oh shit. <laughs> it's bloody it's blood. bloody blood in the black pudding. Really? Yes. 